Welcome back to the YT Code Master. In this video, I'll show you how to verify the ads approval status and add app-ads.txt. I've already created a separate video on how to implement ads in Unity with the full setup with AdMob account. The link is in the description, so check that out if you need it. Now let's start. When you open your app in Google AdMob, go to App Settings. You'll notice that the app is not verified. AdMob will ask you to verify the app, otherwise ads may not work properly. The error usually happens because Google Play Console doesn't find any developer website connected to your app. And without that, AdMob can't detect your app-ads.txt file. So how do we fix this? You need to publish the app dash ads to txt file on a website and then connect that website to your app in the play console. You have two options. Option 1. Use your own website upload dash ads dot txt in root directory of your website like this example URL. For that you need hosting and custom domain. It's not free. Option 2. Use Blogger. This is the best choice for indie developers because it's completely free. You don't need hosting or a custom domain. Option 1. Create a new text file. Name it app-ads.txt. Open it. and paste the code provided by Adamob. Save this file and upload it to the root directory of your website. Then add the website URL inside Google Play Console. Option 2. Open blogger.com If you don't have an account, create one. Click on New Blog. Give it any name and save. Then add any address by your choice and save. You can also change this later. This will create a free website for you. If you want to see created website, click view blog. See this is default website, you can also modify this as per your choice. Now go to settings, scroll down to the monetization section. And enable the custom ads.txt option. Paste the code from AdMob here and save. But here's the catch. Blogger saves it as ads.txt while we actually need app-ads.txt. To fix this, scroll up in settings and click custom redirects. A new direct from app-ads.txt.txt. Please don't make any spelling mistakes. Enable permanent redirect and save. Now if you visit your blog and type slash app-ads.txt at the end of the URL you should see the file. Perfect. Next step, copy your blogger URL. You can also copy your URL and change your subdomain name from blogger settings.
go to Google Play Console and paste it under Grow, Store Presence, Store Settings, Developer Website. Remove the last slash forward slash from the URL and save. Now return to AdMob, click check for updates and wait. You can see that line is changed that means website is successfully added in Google Play Console. After some time, usually around 30 minutes to 1 hour, click again on check for updates. You will see a message that says AdMob will email you when your ads are approved. That means AdMob has successfully verified your website. Now click on Done. You'll notice that the status has changed to getting ready. This means the app verification is complete and the approval status is now set to getting ready. Within 24 hours, you'll also get an email that your app is verified and approved. Once the status says ready, your app can start showing ads. And that's it. Your app is now properly set up with app-ads.ct and ads will run without issues. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe and support the channel. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.